For the second week in a row, we have a doubleheader of the SEC on CBS, including the now number one team in the nation, the Georgia Bulldogs, hosting number 11, Kentucky. Kentucky 6-0 for the first time since 1950 when they were under Bear Bryant. They have now won eight straight games under Mark Stoops, the fifth longest winning streak in school history. But the Wildcats will have to battle the best defense in the nation, the Georgia Bulldogs allowing just 33 points through six games so far this season, the fewest points they've allowed in that span since 1935. Let's welcome in the man who will be on the call for Kentucky at Georgia, Gary Danielson. Uh, let's talk about this Georgia defense. We just mentioned it there, 33 points through six games. It, put into perspective for us just how good this Georgia defense is. You know, uh, I thought they were good last year, Amanda, and they've just grown up. Um, they seem more committed. They seem to understand the Kirby Smart, Dan Lenning defense a little bit more. You know, they've tasted defeat. They're very hungry, and they want to prove to a lot of people that they're the best defense in the country. I think they are. I also think they might have the best player in the country, and Jordan Davis, the nose tackle, at his position. He is a dominating player. If he played any specialist position where he had the ball, he'd be the front runner for the Heisman. So, yes, they have difference makers, and they have NFL players all over this defense. All right, sticking with Georgia, so JT Daniels was named the starting quarterback at the beginning of the season, but, of course, we've right. seen him battle a couple of injuries now and in his place. We get to watch Stetson Bennett. How would you compare these two, and when Daniels is healthy, what happens then? <laughs> well, we really don't know. You know, JT has played against a, a, a few teams that they could dominate. And Stetson Bennett has come up big for this football team. You know, a member a year ago kind of reminded me, you know, uh, of, of what we just saw with Zach Calzada at Texas A&M. Uh, you know, earlier in this year, A&M, the whole fan base said he was the reason they were losing a year ago. Everybody was blaming Stetson Bennett for him not being better than he was. He, he is what he is. But Kirby did a great job with him. He, he he believed in him. He knew that he may need him again. And Stetson has been there for this uh, Georgia Bulldog team this year, and he's come through for them. So they're different players. JT has a wider uh, array of skills and, uh, you know, arm talent. But Stetson has been great, good for the football team. You know, they've gotten tough around him. They played hard around him. They run the ball well with him. They believe that uh, he won't make a lot of mistakes. So, they're different. I don't know who's going to play. JT is can electrify a lot of players, but uh, right now Stetson's playing awfully well. I think uh, they'll be pretty good shape with either one who plays. Let's go to the other side. Let's talk about Kentucky. Uh, just one of 11 right. teams with multiple games with 330 yards or more rushing this season. Just incredible 6-0 and for them. Break down this Kentucky offense for us. Well, if you're going to play for Mark Stoops, you better know how to be tough. And that's what's happened. Now, they've added a quarterback. Will Levis, their quarterback transfer, has made them different. You know, he is a extra running back, and he's good enough to make the easy throw. He's not a drop back passer per se, but his toughness at quarterback, you know, goes back and, and, and kind of matches, you know, what Atibo did at Florida. He fits the system. But with Rodriguez and Smoke, they're two running backers, and the way their defense plays, I mean, everything just fits. And I think that's the way Mark Stoops kind of built this team to play tough, to, to control the ball, you know, to depend on your teammates. And everybody in this lineup seems to trust the guy next to him and behind them, and it's, that's why right now they're winning these football games. You've seen a lot of versions of this Kentucky team. Would you say this is the best Kentucky team you've ever seen? Well, there's a small place in my heart for that 2007 Kentucky team with Andre Woodson and Steve Johnson and Keenan Burton and Jacob Tammy, the tight end. Uh, they play, they were a high power offense under Rich Brooks and they were close. You know, they beat the eventual national champion LSU. Um, their record ended up only eight and five, but I, you know, you look at them all along, every game they lost, they were in it. You know, Florida 45-37, Tennessee 52-50. So, for me, that 2017 with Andre Woodson at quarterback when I first came in the league in the SEC, but I think this might be the most balanced Kentucky team I've seen 
since I've been in the league starting in 2006. Maybe not the best, but the most balanced, and that is working for them right now. 6-0 <laughs> and again for the first time since 1950. Gary Danielson, we'll look forward to your call on CBS this Saturday, Kentucky at Georgia. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, if they win Saturday, they'll take the mantle as the best. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's absolutely right, Gary. Thank you. All right, taking a look at the SEC East standings. So Georgia, Kentucky running away with it, but I do want to mention, even though both are 4-0 in the conference, 6-0 overall, Georgia favored by 23 and a half at home. So that should tell you something. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.